Hey, Steve Noble, Noble Moto. What we're doing today is we're going to check and replace the air filter on a Sportster. Now, this is a 2012 883 Iron Sportster, also known as an 883N. This is a stock air filter setup on it. Um, so this should be pretty much the same if you have the oval air filter cover here. Most all of these have two bolts here, and then you can identify it by the oval shape. Some of them have a smaller round one, and it's essentially the same principle, but your bolts are gonna be in slightly different spots. So first, we'll just, so for this video, we'll just cover the oval one. Now to take this outer cover off, you're going to need a 3 16 Allen wrench. These are widely available at most auto parts stores or hardware stores or wherever you choose to get your tools. Take your 3 16 Allen wrench, Make sure it is seated all the way down in there and straight. You don't want to have it at a weird angle because that's how you'll round out the inside of that Allen wrench. So put it all the way in there and break each one free first before you take them out. Remember, lefty loosey, righty tighty. So lefty loosey this bolt right on out of there. Set it off to the side and lefty loosey this one out. Now remember, as you take this out, this little plastic piece is going to be loose. So it might want to fall off. So keep your hand up on there to catch it. And you can take your screw and your Allen wrench, set those down to the side. Take your little 883 number plate and set that down to the side. Then you should be able to just take this cover here, grab onto it, and pull it right off of there. Should be a little rubber gasket here. This should come off with it. And then from there, you can inspect your air filter. Now, as you can see, this air filter doesn't look too bad. Um, well, looks like it was bad for him. And, uh, but it doesn't look too great either. It, uh, it's definitely discolored a little bit. It's got a little dirt on it. So therefore, it's about time to replace it. This isn't terrible. It's not like it's packed full of dirt, but it's about that time. Now, in order to remove this air filter, we're gonna use a T27 Torx bit. That's the little star looking one. I don't know if you can see that. It's listed as T27. We're gonna remove these three screws. Again, we'll break each one free. And you could either use the ratchet and spin them all the way out. You might be able to just pop the socket off. Screw each one of these right on out of there. You're going to want to keep these in order because they may or may not be different links on your bike. On this bike, they're all the same length. Hoorah for that. Take this little metal plate off of here, which may or may not come off. That one's attached, so we'll leave it. They can just grab your air filter, pull it right off of there. And there you have it. Now, as you can see, we picked up a couple little friends there. Uh, looks like they did not have as good of a day as we did while riding. Sorry, buddies. But um, the good news is the air filter stopped those bugs from going inside the engine. So everything worked as it should. Now, it's a disposable air filter. So we will go to our local parts place, pick up another one, and install it up on here. Hey, so here's our old air filter. Here's our new air filter. Looks pretty much the same. However, there's no dead to get wasps or yellow jackets, wherever those little flying stinging jerks are. Uh, but more importantly, this metal piece needs to come out of the old air filter. So, let's set the new one in a safe location. You should be able to take your thumb or maybe a screwdriver and bend this little tab back. Hmm. Maybe bend this one back right there. But it's a little tab. It's got to bend back. And then you have to get under it. Get under a flathead screwdriver. You're on a flathead screwdriver right there. Twist. Catch the metal plate. Take your old air filter. Throw it in trash. Take your metal plate. Line up your holes, snap it into its new location. Ta-da! All right, 
Now we're ready to reinstall the air filter. Take your air filter here and uh, you want to line up your breather bolts here. Make sure you still got an O-ring back in there, which you do. And just slide the these two pins right here up onto the breather studs right there. From there, you can take your three six or your uh, three quarter twenty bolts that were a T27 Torx bit and slide them through the holes and start them in there. And I would recommend start each bolt in by a few threads before you tighten any of them up. Otherwise, it will go crooked and you won't be able to get the bolts in tight. And then from there, take your T27 Torx bit, just run them all in there until they're snug. You've got two options in how to tighten these things up. You can either take your T27 wrench, I have a socket one, but you might have just a little L wrench. You can take these, you can just righty tighty till they kind of seat into place. And they don't have to be super tight, but you don't want them uh, vibrating loose either. And you'll feel it kind of bottom out. Right about the point it bottoms out, it's probably good. However, if you would like your torque spec, I will Google it for you. All right, so we've got our inch pound torque wrench and we are going for 48 to 72 inch pounds. Right there. There you go, air filters tightened up. Now we just put the cover back on. Now before we put the cover back on, I'm gonna wanna make sure this gasket is clean and in place there, which it is. It's not peeled off anywhere, anything weird like that. We can slide that up in place. Then from there, take our little cool 883 logo, make sure you put it on the right way. Then we can start each bolt in there. Start that one in by a few threads. Start the back one in by a few threads. Then from there, you can take your 3 16 Allen and tighten it up until it all seats down. You'll feel it bottom out. Give it a little, give it a little eh, once it bottoms out and that should be tight enough. That's it, you're ready to go ride. That's all I have.